Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing uh, amazing, awesome, great. I hope everything is working out for you at the moment. And if not, just remember, everything will come with its right time. Just be patient. I don't know why I'm giving you this motivational speak in the beginning of this, but I don't even know if you needed that. But if you did, there you go. As you can tell by the title, today I wanted to share with you my favorite look combinations recently. These are very spring inspired, so there's a little bit of color, but not too much. So I find these combinations are perfect for those of you who like something more muted, more natural. These lip combos are all pretty pinky. You can just tell by the outside of the packaging of these lip products where this is going. Like, it looks pretty pretty pink, I would say. So it's just my preferred type of color to use. That is what these lip combos are probably going to look like. Um, and yeah, if you wanna see my current favorite lip combinations, which are perfect for the springtime, then keep on watching. I'm going to be starting with the lightest shades and go all the way up to the more tinting lip products so that I don't stain my lips too much so you can get a better idea of how these actually look. So the first combination I find is the most fuss free and easy one because it's only like two sheer shiny lipsticks. One as a base, one as like a point color. It's not very long lasting though. So if you want something long lasting, this is probably not the combination that you would want to go for. So for the base, I'm going to be using the Glow Paradise lipstick, it's from L'Oreal, and it is in the shade 112 Pastel Exaltation. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it's kind of like a peachy pink kind of color, but more peach. Very pastel, it's pretty light. I'm going to be applying this lightly. I dab it on, I don't swipe it on because it has a strong white base, and if I do that, it just looks too much. This is what it looks like on its own. I think it's very pretty. You could totally wear it like this, but I've been using another L'Oreal lipstick. It is kind of like a fuchsia mid-tone kind of bright Barbie pink. So on its own, I find it a little bit too much, but mixed with this more pastel shade, I, I feel like it just tones it down and it looks a lot better. I don't even know if you can see that much of a difference, but it's just it just gives a little bit more of a baby pink to it, just slightly. So yeah, this has been my first spring kind of lip combo. The next two lip combos are kind of similar, but they just differ in tone. The first one is more like baby pink and the second one is a little bit more mauve. I'm going to be using my favorite lip pencil, which is Nude Beige by NYX. It's such a beautiful, cool toned brown that just matches everything, which is why I always talk about it. I always use it. It's super tiny at this point. I love it. It's my all time favorite. I like this shade especially because you can really make your lip line look, I don't know, I like to smudge it, but at the same time, it is a shade that allows me to overline a little bit, give a little bit more of a pouty effect without looking too unnatural. So I really enjoy this shade for that reason. So for the base this time, I'm going to be using a matte nude lipstick. This one is from Catrice. It's a scandalous matte lipstick in 010, plain truth. And for the color, like the actual point color, I'm going to be using this Peripera lip tint in the shade I'm Pinkest. It is a very cool toned pink color. So I'm going to be applying this right in the center. Like that. I really like this lip combo because it is not too nude. Since we have a little bit of that pink, it's just so natural, so pretty. And also I really, really recommend this formula if you're into a glowy lip tint. It's a very serum-like formula. It's super hydrating. It is not drying. It feels really, really nice on the lips. It feels kind of like a liquid balm slash serum. It's just so, so comfortable. I love it. I only have this color, but I'm planning on getting more colors. If you're looking for a nice glowy lip tint, I would definitely recommend these. I like this lip combo so much. I don't want to take it off. <laughs> <laughs> For this combo, we're also going to be using the NYX lip liner and we're also going to be using the same Catrice lipstick. This time the point color is a little bit more mauve and dark. It's going to be the Roman Lasting Tint in 25 Bear Grape. It's a very popular shade and um, I can totally tell why. It's such a beautiful mauve kind of color. On its own, I find it a little bit too dark, which is why I always use it with a nude lipstick underneath and then it looks how I love it. As you can see right off the bat, this is a little darker. It also smells like grapes. I don't find this lip tint on its own glowy enough, which is why I like to go in with a gloss on top. I know this is such a high maintenance lip combo, but 
I just get very satisfied when I use multiple products. I can't just use one, that just, no. And the lip gloss is one that I've raved about as well. It is from Essence, it is in the shade Flower Blossom. It's so pretty, it's like a more cool tone one, which matches this perfectly. Once the lip gloss is on, I feel mm, so good about this lip combo. Mm, so pretty. I still recommend this glowy lip tint over the romant one, just if you're curious. I just like this one better. And last but not least, the most tinting kind of lip combo. I'm going to be using the same lip liner, the same lipstick, but you'll see what tint I'm using. So I applied my base and for the lip tint, I'm going to be using the Etude. Fixing tint in the shade 10 Smoky Cherry. This is so intense, but it's so pretty and I just love that you can make it very intense But also a little bit more wearable. So this is how I usually do it to make it more wearable. This color just screams spring to me I I am obsessed Now you could keep it like this matte. Uh, I really like it as well, but it's not my preferred way of using this um, lip tint. I like to put a gloss on top yet again, but this time I'm going to put a different one on because as you can see, just looking at them, you can see this one is a lot lighter, which is perfect when you want to brighten up any lipstick or lip color, whatever it is. But I find Moon is perfect when I want to make something just extra glossy, but not really alter the color. So this one is perfect for that. This is so my style. Ah, I love it. You can see how such an intense lip product can also look quite natural. It just depends on how you combine it with other products. And I feel like a gloss overall makes a lip product look more natural. I love to add a gloss on top of pretty much every lip combo. I just feel like it elevates it to another level. This is the finished combination. So perfect for spring and I like that it is quite long lasting I would say because of the tint. Hope that you will try one of these combos and I would love to know what your favorite lip combos are at the moment. I don't think there is too many lipstick and lip products that you can apply once. I almost feel like as long as you're not applying like thick layers on top of each other, it's almost like with eyeshadow. Multiple different products mixed together can really create such beautiful lip looks. And the category lip has been my favorite ever since I was 12. And it's still like such a passion. I love lip makeup so much. Even though I don't have a lot to work with, my lips are not very big you can make them look so different and i just enjoy it so much so if you like this video it would mean the world to me if you would hit the like button even subscribe that would be so awesome and i really hope that i will catch you in my next video and until then please take care bye